the spring of 2022. The annual Greek festival was canceled, a disappointment to many. We've missed it terribly. It's our Richmond family that we celebrate with each year and not being able to do it in 20 and 21 was a bit of a heartbreak, but we're thrilled to have that back in June and we're knocking the rust off the mini festival as well and having that this coming weekend. And we won't have to wait until June of 2023 for another Greek festival. Angela Philos is with Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Cathedral, the site where it all began. Nearly 50 years ago, around 1976, it was a small two-day festival introducing food and culture from the Richmond Greek Orthodox community to the Richmond greater community. And it grew and grew from there. What started as an outreach event now draws hundreds every year. We could have never imagined how large it would become. We did all the cooking ourselves. We created a two-day event for the community. And as volunteers and leadership evolved over the years, it grew and grew into what we know as the major Greek festival. But the focus this weekend is on the mini Greek festival. Everything was here custom made by our, our church family. It was about Greek Orthodoxy. It was about our food. It was about music. It was about sharing the Greek culture with the Richmond community. And to make it happen this year, some changes had to be made. So we have our signature dishes, the pasticcio and moussaka pans. We also have chicken and pork souflaki. We have spanakopita, tiropita, all of our wonderful pastries, dolmades, and Greek salads. Other changes include the absence of vendors, the drive through and live music. And our beloved Lukumadis, you'll have to come see us next June between the 1st and the 4th. And why is that with that particular food? So Lukumadis essentially is our fried, it's almost like a fried donut. And uh, all those fryers are held outside at the big festival and we don't have a setup or capacity to do those inside for the mini festival. So it's more of a safety issue. Absolutely. There will be wine and beer and non-alcoholic drinks. And if you don't want to dine in, you can order online. We love it. We love Richmond. We love throwing this party. We absolutely are thrilled that we can do this again this year. And we cannot wait to come together with the community. And keep in mind that it is a smaller festival, so bring your patience. We've managed the messaging that we don't have outside seating. It's not the four-day party. It's not the um, drive-through. But we're expecting, we're expecting some lines. We're expecting some wait. And we're ready. And if you've been to any events this year in large groups, you can just see how overjoyed everyone is to be together again. And we miss it terribly, and we're so excited to have it back. Over the years, the cathedral has donated about $350,000 to more than 50 charities. The Mini Greek Festival continues through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. at 30 Malvern Avenue. To get more details, visit our website, WTVR.com.